Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to come back and see me. Um, I just love you guys so much. So today I have decided to do a review for you on the La Bella Curl. As you can see, I like it because the bottle is half gone. Um, but I did want to let you see how I use it and why I like it. Um, so first of all, if you have looked at any of my other, my previous videos, you will know that I am, um, right now, I am almost 12 months post relaxer. And I am so happy about that. Like, I never ever thought that I could do it. I never ever thought that I could get to, um, a place where I did not have to relax my hair. Um, and I am now almost one year post relaxer. Um, so what I have done to my hair is I just got out of the shower and I just conditioned my hair. Um, usually whenever I wear my hair like this, I do not always shampoo and condition my hair. Sometimes I will just, um, just condition my hair. So that's what I have done today. Um, and now I am just running the gel, um, putting the gel on my edges and I put a good size amount, um, because you know how it is with natural hair, natural hair does its own thing. Um, and it is pretty humid here today. So because of that, um, you know, you want to use enough product to where it's going to hold, it's going to hold you over. Um, so I'm just using my brush and I'm just lightly, lightly, lightly combing through my hair to just kind of detangle. And um, I am really going lightly because this is a good way to break your hair and you do not want to break your hair. So you cannot pull, you cannot pull through. Um, you have to go very, very slowly very very um very very lightly so i'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with this um i do not know how this works on relaxed hair but i am guessing that it will do its job there as well like i said my hair is july 22nd will be one year since i have um relaxed my hair so I do not know what my hair is, 2A, 3A, 4A, 4B, 4C, whatever all those numbers and stuff are. I don't know. If someone can kind of look at my hair and tell me what you think it is, please leave me a comment in the box below because I have not done enough research to figure that out yet, okay? But I will tell you that when I wet my hair, and I do still have some relaxer in it because I have not done the big chop, um, but my hair does curl up. And as you can see on my edges, I have some little waves and that kind of thing going on. Y'all, I didn't ever think my hair would do that. So if you're on the fence about doing it, just try it. You know, you don't have to cut all your hair off. Um, if you want to, you can, but you definitely don't have to. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead and I am going to show you a couple of things that you can do with your hair with this gel. So... One way that I like to wear my hair is I just like to put the gel throughout my hair. And like I said, I have detangled it. And so now I'm going to use this brush. This one is not, the bristles aren't as quite as wide as the other one. But again, I'm going to pull through lightly, um, very lightly. And, you know, it's, it's going pretty easy because the gel is helping my brush glide through. Um, so once you get all of your tangles out, um, just depending on the amount of time you have, but this is a very, very quick, for me, a quick go-to. You know, if you're just in a hurry, but you want to leave out of the house with clean hair and that kind of thing, um, I'm looking for my other brush. Of course, you know, I'm always, like, so unprepared. 
Um, but I just like to, you know, brush my edges back. Brush them behind my ear. Same thing with this side. Okay. And then just kind of, you know, pick it up a little bit. Um, just kind of scrunch my ends so that, you know, where it's a little straight because of those relaxed ends, that it is good there. And then the back just kind of does its own thing. And then I like to throw a headband on if I'm getting ready to go out. And I throw a headband on just for a little bit of looking like I put some effort into it. <laughs> um, and then I have this Cebu spray. And I like to just spritz some of that over it just for a little bit of a shine. Okay? And I'm going to turn around and show you the back. Okay, and I hope that you can see my curls. Um, I can't see what it's, what you can see, but, um, yeah, this is the back, and this is all with the La Bella Curl. And, you know, once it's dry, this is how it dries, and, you know, you're, you're good to go. Okay? The second thing that I like to do with my hair um, with the Labella Curl is I like to pin my hair up. Um, if it's one of those days for whatever reason and I do not want to wear my hair down, um, I just pull it all back. And you can pull your hair back in a, um, a little ponytail. Um, I don't usually do a ponytail just because my edges and my sides are not as thick yet as I would like for them to be. And I say yet because, you know, it's, I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Um, but I would, if I were going to do a little ponytail, if I absolutely just wanted to do it, you know, I would just put just a tad bit more gel there at the bottom brush it up and again go in with my brush being careful not to pull or snap your hair um, and then I would just use a hair tie and I don't do like rubber bands or anything because again you do not want to break your hair okay um, and th this is just a look that I you know, probably, I don't necessarily wear this look because it's just not one of, it's just not a look that is very, very, the ponytail look is not something that I am too crazy about. Um, or the bun look because, you know, like I said, my edges aren't as thick as I want them to be and my hair is not as long as I want it to be. But if... I were going to do it. This is what the labella curl, this is what your pullback or my pullback looks like with the labella curl. Okay. Um, so that's that look. And then the other thing that I like to do with my hair is I like to pin it up. Um, so again, I would take the, you know, have the gel in it. And I would brush it up. And, you know, this holds all day long. It does hold. And just for the sake of this video, I am going to put another little bit of gel. Now, if I were doing this on a regular, you know, you really don't have to use this much gel. Um, but I would know what I'm going to do with my hair. So I would know that either I'm going to wear it down or I'm going to pin it up or whatever. And so I wouldn't be using this much gel um so you know, brush it and then i just like to simply take my hair once you have it all together 
and just kind of twist it, okay, like that. And I take a bobby pin and I pin it, okay? And usually one bobby pin will hold for me throughout the day, okay? So, again, those are the three things that I like to do with the labello curl. Um, you can see the, the waves and that kind of thing in my hair, and um, I do like using it for that purpose. Um, it does not get hard. It does not flake. So that is another thing that I really do like about the labello curl. Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, if this video has helped you, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you as part of my family. Um, leave me a comment below. And until next time, I love you guys.